All right, so welcome to Night Hacking at the Geek Out Conference. Um, my name is Stephen Chin. We're streaming live at nighthacking.com, and I'm joined here by Nitsin. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. And you have an upcoming talk on lock-free queues. Yep. Starting in just a few. Well, are you in room one or two? Sorry? Are you in room one or two here? Room two. All right, room two. If you want to see the lock-free queues talk, <laughs> join Nitsin in room two. So. Um, let's talk a little bit about briefly what you do for Azul and a little bit about the Lock Free Keys project. All right. Um, I'm the performance engineer for um, one of the performance engineers for Azul Systems. We build Zing, which is the pauseless GC JVM. Um, it's really enjoying it. It's a cool. lovely job. Yeah, lots Gil of interesting and the team stuff. Are good to work with. Working with with Gil Turner, but it's actually an amazing team of engineers yeah. to work with. I'm, you know, really excited to work with them, and this is a year later. I usually usually I complain by this point, so <laughs> this this is good going. This is excellent. Um, and sort of as a as a side hobby, I'm uh, I'm blogging, and my sort of core interest in the blog has been uh, concurrency and building lock-free queues, uh, some of them on the heap, some of them off the heap, uh, and just making them as fast as I can make them go. Uh, the, the queues are, have, have become sort of a, an ongoing passion, and then uh, people start asking, you know, how can I use it? Can I find it anywhere? Uh, so I ended up putting all the implementations into a, um, a project on GitHub. It's called JC Tools. Yeah. And I've got some great collaborators working on it with me. I mean, Martin Thompson is com contributing here and there. Uh, I got Richard uh, Verbiton also uh, jumping in with some contributions. Great guys from uh, Ulink. We have some support from uh, the Netflix guys. So JC Tools is is currently used by uh, RX Java and by a fair few other other products out there. So it's it's good and it's on GitHub and it's um, okay. It's so out there for people to use. So I wanna I wanna make sure that folks can um, actually um, so GitHub was the yeah okay so it was what I was attempting yeah, to that, type that work okay so this is where they can find out um, more information about it GitHub JC Tools yeah. um, so what what are some of the um, special things you've designed into the queues implementation to improve performance? So uh, the, it's a really interesting topic for me because it's um, lock-free queues are sort of this well-defined problem. There's a wealth of uh, options and implementations out there. And to, you know, there's a real challenge in making a given algorithm actually deliver the, the value, so actually give you the performance that you want. So it's somewhere it's it's a mix between you know finding good algorithms yeah. and interesting sort of aspects of those algorithms and use cases that are un currently not covered by JDK. So um, give you an example: the JDK queues are all very uh, conservatively uh, approaching the number of producers and consumers. So the assumption is always you're going to have multiple producers and multiple multiple consumers. And that's the most, the most generic queue. And mm -hmm. I mean, you, you have to hand it to Doug Lee, and he definitely knows what he's doing. So it's, it's not that I'm saying, look, Doug Lee doesn't know anything, and I'm, I'm going to reinvent this, this new thing that's a lock-free queue. Um, but there are a lot of use cases that are not covered, and they serve real sort of life designs that people have. Um, you know, you can have. A lot of systems have a, a use case for multiple producer, single consumer, where you have this one resource that you want to throw stuff into. Okay, um, and there are different optimizations that you can do for the case where there's one yeah. consumer that you wouldn't do for the general like multi-producer, multi-consumer case. Yeah, you yeah. can't do without losing correctness. Yeah. Um, also, the the JDK queues are you know there's one lock-free queue which is the uh, the concurrent linked list. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, the concurrent linked queue. Uh, and that comes with its own overhead of uh, garbage collection. Um, you know, a lot of the, as you allocate the nodes, they get freed on the other side. So you pay for all of that. There is no uh, bounded lock-free lock queue. 
Uh, so again, that's something that JC Tools has to offer. And oh. a few other sort of specialized use cases. Um, but it's also been a, a good place to, to bring people together to work on interesting stuff. Yeah, so I, I think another advantage is by having a, an open source implementation of kind of um, different lock-free queues that you need for performance reasons, rather than having people re-implement it from scratch in their own project yeah. or um, try to build their own queues for different performance scenarios. You're kind of aggregating the, yeah, um, the sort of expertise industry, and also yeah. creating an implementation which is less um, error prone because it gets tested and you know verified by more people. Yeah, I, I, the way I look at it, I think if we, as, I th as a community of library writers, because I think it's mostly people who write libraries, they end up writing specialized data structures, and uh, for example, be before uh, RxJava were using MyQs, they, were, they had their own implementation of a multi-producer single consumer queue. Neti had a very similar implementation, yeah. and Akka had an implementation, and there's several versions of that queue hanging around, and some of them had bugs, some of them more or less severe, some of them have sort of performance bugs that are more so sort of subtle. Um, and rather than you know everybody chasing everybody else because we want to help each other out, yep. um, we can all pull together and, and make this work. So I'm I'm hoping to to get other open source projects uh, interested and to either contribute or use the queues that that are on offer. Cool. Okay. No, it's exciting chatting with you about lock free queues. I know this is a a topic you're passionate about, and you could probably chat about for the next hour. Yeah, I'm going to miss my talk probably. <laughs> you I probably want to get into your talk. Upstairs. So, if you'd like to hear more about lock free, free queues with um, Nitsen, please go to room two here at Geek Out, and then you can get the full deep dive into the implementation and all the cool performance hacking which um, Nitsen's been doing, and also find out more about his whole system. So, awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the short interview, and I appreciate having you on the. Night Hacking Geek Out. We have one more interview candidate for the, the day today, um, which is not up on my computer, but um, it will be at the next break, which is, I believe, boop, 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 boop. I think Attila. Mm -hmm. What? Um, either Gleb or, no, 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 it's. Um, is that 3.30 local time? Next break. Who's next, actually? Yeah, Thomas, yeah. Okay, anyway, check the schedule online. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Awesome.